welcome back to my channel today we are asked to solve this without the use of a calculator i don't want to see with your calculator we are doing this without calculator okay now let's do it together if since we are doing this without calculator that means we need to uh, simplify this as much as we can we need to reduce these figures as much as we can trying out to bring squares out of these figures each of them this is what i mean you know that when you have square root of x and you square it that is the only time that this square is this square root sign is removed and you have your x so we'll try as much as possible to figure out how to make everything here to be in square then we can cancel out and get our answer okay yeah so let's see how this goes now first of all three can be written as 10 multiplied by 3 right 10 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3 plus this is 10 multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 3 plus this is 10 multiplied by 5 raised to the power of 3 now i'm going to solve this using two methods okay so the second method is the easiest and the fastest so let's start with the most difficult method all right okay now let's have fun together remember that a multiplied by b raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n multiplied by b to the power of n okay so that means that we can write this as the square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 plus 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of 3 plus 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3. All right. Now, at this juncture, we can factorize 10 to the power of 3 out and then bring out these ones, put them together, okay? So we have the square roots of... 10 to the power of 3 brackets when this is divided by this 3 to the power of 3 will remain when this is divided by this 4 to the power of 3 will remain when this is divided by this 5 to the power of 3 will remain okay so we have the square root of 10 to the power of 3 brackets now let us analyze 3 to the power of 3 remember that 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, which will give us 27, okay? Similarly, 4 to the power of 3 is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4, which will give us 64. And 5 to the power of 3 is 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, which will give us one, two, five. Okay. Please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this channel. Okay. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new to watch. Trust me, by the grace of God. Yeah. All right. Now let us continue. So we are going to replace 3 to the power of 3 with 27. Substitute 4 to the power of 3 as 64. And 5 to the power of 3 as 1, 2, 5. So what we have is 27 plus 64 plus 1, 2, 5 okay all right now let's continue now this is square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by now let's add together 1 2 5 64 and 27 now 4 plus 7 is 11 11 plus 5 is 16 carry 1 6 plus 2 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 11 carry 1 so we have 2 1 6 okay so we have 2, 1, 6. All right. Now, let's simplify to 1, 6. Remember that we don't have a calculator. So, what we are doing here is let's simplify further. All right. So, we have 2, 1, 6. If we simplify 2, 1, 6, 2, we divide to give us 1, 0, 8. 2, we divide again to give us 54. 2, we divide to give us 27. 3, we divide to give us 9. 3, we divide to give us 3. 3, we divide to give us 1. So you notice that we have 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3. And we have 3 times 3 times 3, okay? Which is 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. 
Yes. So let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> write that here. So this is square root of 10 to the power of 3 brackets. 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. Okay? Now remember that A to the power of M multiplied by B to the power of M is equal to A multiplied by B raised to the power of M. All right? So that means that we write this as square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. So this is square root of 10 to the power of 3, bracket 6, multiplied by 6 to the power of 3. Remember what I told you, that we'll try to bring out squares from this so that we can cancel out the root sign, okay? All right, so how do we bring out square from here? 3 is same thing as 2 plus 1. So let us express this in that way. So we have this to be square root of 10 raised to the power of 2, Multiply by 10 raised to the power of 1. Sorry, 10 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 first. Let me not jump any step. Then 6 raised to the power of 2 plus 1. All right. Now, remember, remember that... We need to clean this. Okay. Now, remember that A raised to the power of M plus N is equal to A to the power of M multiplied by A to the power of N. Okay. Yeah, so that means that we can write this as square root of 10 to the power of 2. We have found our two first two, right? Multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. Then multiplied by 6 to the power of 2. Multiplied by 6 to the power of 1. Now we are going to bring out the squares. Let's bring them together. So we have square root of 10 squared multiplied by 6 squared. Then multiplied by 10 to the power of 1 multiplied by 6 to the power of 1, which is same as 10 multiplied by 6. So we have square root of, remember that a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is equal to a, b raised to the power of m. Okay? Yeah. So that means that we can write this as 10 multiplied by 6 raised to the power of 2. Yes, so we can cancel out from here. Multiplied by 10 times 6, which is 60. Okay? So we have the square root of 60 squared multiplied by 60. All right. Now remember, remember that square root of A multiplied by B is equal to square root of A multiplied by square root of B. Okay. So that means that we can separate this as square root of 60 squared multiplied by square root of 60. Okay, now remember what I said, this can cancel this. So we now have 60 root 60. But root 60 is not in its simplest form, right? So let's simplify it further. To simplify any sort, okay, I would advise you use this method, okay? Now, the smallest factor of 60 is 2. This will give us 30. The smallest factor of 30 is still 2. When 30 is divided by 2, we have 15. Then 3 we divide to give us 5. 5 we divide to give us 1. Now, because this is square root, we pick identical numbers in pairs, okay? So this is the only pair we have here. 2 times 2 is 4. So that means that we can express root 60 as 4 times 15, okay? So we have 60 root 4 multiplied by 15. So we have 60 root 4 multiplied by root 15. So we have 60 multiplied by 2 because root 4 is 2, then we have root 15. So this gives us 120 root 15. Okay, now this is the first method. Let's go to the second method that is very easy and very fast, okay? Now using the second method, we first of all, we first of all evaluate the numbers, okay? So let's first of all evaluate the numbers, okay? Now, 30 to the power of 3. 30 to the power of 3, same thing as 10 uh, multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3, right? So this same thing as 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3, okay? Which will give us 1,000 multiplied by 27, which will give us 27,000, okay? That is it for 30 to the power of 3. Now, 40 to the power of 3 is 10 multiplied by 4 raised to the power of 3. So this is equal to 
10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of 3. So this is 1,000 multiplied by 64. And this will give us 64,000. Okay? So that is it for 40 to the power of 3. Now, 50 to the power of 3 is equal to 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3. So this is 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3, right? So this will give us 125 multiplied by 1000, which will give us 125000. Okay, so we are going to substitute these values into this place. So we have the square root of 30 to the power of 3 is 27,000, okay, plus 40 to the power of 3 is 64,000, plus um, 50 to the power of 3 is 125,000. So, let's write them. Okay. So, we have 125,000. All right. Now, let's solve. This is square root of 27,000 plus 64,000 plus 125,000. Let's solve. 125,000 plus 64,000 plus 27,000, okay? We have three zeros. Now, 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 5 is 12, right? 11 plus 5 is 16, right? 6 carry 1. 6 plus 4, 10 plus 1, 11 carry 1. So we have 216000, 216, Okay, we are close to the solution. Now, let us simplify this further. This can be written as 216 multiplied by 1,000, right? So this can be written as 216 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. All right. Now, 216, like we expressed the other time, is same thing as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3, okay? So we have the square root of 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So we have the square root of 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Okay? So we have the square root of 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Now remember what we did the other time. But this time, we are going to multiply this and this together, bringing out the 3. Okay? So we have this to be square root of 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3. So we have the square root of 60 to the power of 3. Now we can express this to bring out square from here, right? So we have this as square root of 60 raised to the power of 2 plus 1, which we can write as square root of 60 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 60 raised to the power of 1, according to the law of exponents, which I have already explained in the first uh, method, right? So this is square root of 60 squared multiplied by square root of 60. Now this, we cancel this, we have 60 root. Now root 60, we have, uh, we have also simplified it in the first method, and we got 4 multiplied by 15, okay? So we have 4 multiplied by 15. So this will give us square root of 60 root 4 multiplied by root 15, okay? All right, now we have 60 multiplied by 2 multiplied by root 15. Now, if you solve this, you are going to get 120 root 15, just like we got the other time. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.